Hi guys, Mathsman here, back with a new video, and today I'm going to be looking at a place value objective, which is being able to multiply and divide mentally by 10 and 100. Now the first thing you need to know is that if we ever multiply numbers, they get bigger, so they will go to the left. They will, you know, so if I have something in the units column, if I multiply it, then it might go into the tens or the hundreds column. Now, if I'm dividing, I might have something in the units column and it might get lower. It might become less and go into the tenths, the hundredths and the thousandths. But let's just see how this actually plays out in real life. Now, the first thing I'd like to say is if you've ever been taught that adding a zero or taking away a zero when multiplying uh, by 10 and 100, then... That doesn't always work. And actually, you've been taught the wrong way. So hopefully today I'm going to teach you the right way. Now I want you to take a look at my place value chart here. So I have I have hundreds, tens, units column. I have the decimal point, the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousandths. So at the minute, I have 56. Okay, because the 6 is in the units column, the 5 is, is in the tens column. Now today, in this question, I'm going to be multiplying by 10. Now, the 0, there's one 0 here, so it actually tells me, okay, that both of these two numbers are going to be moving, okay, one place, because there is one 0, okay? But I need to ask myself, well, are they going to move left or are they going to move right? And if I look here, if I multiply, they go left. So watch what happens when I multiply by 10 here. So I'm going to take the 5 here. Now the 5 moves one place to the left. And the same with the 6. The 6 moves one place to the left. Now, this is where, when you've been taught to add a 0, this is where it does work. So I now need to add a 0 here into my units column because I can't keep it empty. I must put something there. So if I was to do 56 multiplied by 10, the answer would be 560. Now, I'm just going to go back to the original question, and this time I'm going to multiply by 100. Now, in this example, because there are one, two zeros, it means that I must, I must move my numbers two boxes now. So watch what happens when I multiply by 100. I move it once, twice to the left, because I'm multiplying again. And then the 6, 1, 2 places to the left. And as before, I can't leave, I cannot leave the tens column and the units column empty. I must add zeros in there. So the answer to 56 multiplied by 100 would be 5,600. Okay, here's a slightly trickier question because we have a decimal now. So we have 6.7. Now again, I'm multiplying, so my numbers are going to be going to the left. And I'm multiplying by 10. There's only one zero, so I'm going to be moving them one place. So again, the 6 goes one place to the left. The 7 goes one place to the left. Now, the decimal place, the decimal point, does not count as a place. You skip over it. I hope you saw what happened to the 7 there. It moved from the tenths over the top. It's like jumping a hurdle. It went over the hurdle straight into the units column. Now, the correct answer to this question is 67. That's the end. Now, I have seen some people say 67.0. And although, in a way, you are correct... OK, if we have a zero in the tenths column, we just ignore it and we say 67. OK, we even get rid of the decimal point. OK, let's start at the beginning now. 
And let's say this time we're going to multiply by 100. So again, I've got two zeros, so I'm going to be moving two places to the left because I'm multiplying again. So let's take this 6, and instead of moving it one place, I'm going to move it two places. So from the units to the hundreds. Let's take a look at the 7. So I'm going to skip over the decimal point, one place, into the tens column. And I can see that I have a space in my units column, so I'm going to put a 0 in there. And the answer to 6.7 multiplied by 100 would be 670. Okay, now we're moving on to dividing. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, if I divide, then I must move my numbers to the right. So 721 divided by, so that means moving to the right. And here I just have one zero, so that will be one place. So I'm going to put my decimal point in place here. And I'm going to move my number 1 here. I'm going to move it over the decimal point like a hurdle. Then I'm going to move my 2 one place to the right. I'm going to move my 7 one place to the right. So 721 divided by 10 is 72 point. One. Okay, I'm just going to go back now to the beginning. And instead of dividing by 10, we are going to be dividing by 100 here. So just like when multiplying by 100, dividing by 100 means that they must move two places. So I'm going to put my decimal point in. Okay, I'm dividing, so my numbers are moving to the right. 1, 2. And I'm dividing by 100, so that must mean that I move my numbers two places to the right. 1, 2. So my 7 is the final number to move. 1, 2. So 721 divided by 100 would be 7.21. Okay, my final example here. My final example is 7.9 divided by 10. So as you can see here, I'm dividing, so that means my numbers are going to the right. There is one zero, so that means my numbers are going to move one space to the right. So I'm going to start with the 9. So the 9 is going to move one space. Seven's going to skip over the hurdle of the decimal into the tenths column. So, now in this example, okay, I have two numbers that are in the decimal places, uh, in the tenths column and the hundredths column. Now, if this happens, I cannot leave the units column empty. I must put a zero there. So, it's not 0.79. The answer is 0 0.79. Okay, I hope this um, video has been helpful for you. And if anyone ever tells you to add or take away zeros, then you know that they are now wrong. What you should do and what you should be training your brain to do instead is to visualize this place value chart in your head. And what you should be doing is moving the numbers to the right or to the left. And by doing that, you will always get the right answer. Now, I am going to finish my video with a question here, okay? I'm going to say this. Can you work out now mentally, so mentally means no pen, no paper, okay, what 7.9 divided by 100 would be? Okay, so can you work it out? Now, if you did like today's video and you found it helpful then don't forget to click the subscribe button okay and if you if you f feel necessary then you can always share it as well thanks again for watching